Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Zebra X701 ballpoint pen. And as you can probably see from the packaging, it's a little beat up because, well, it had a tough life before it got to me. But this is an extreme ballpoint pen. And this one is a 7.7 millimeter point. And as you can see down here, it's supposed to have a stainless steel barrel, and it's supposed to be all non-reflective. And so let's see. Let's see what we got on the back. So y'all can check it out too. It is... The pen is made in... Here we go. Check it out. The pen is made in Indonesia, the refill is made in Japan, and it's packaged in Mexico. Hmm. Seems like this thing must have spent a lot of time on a container ship somewhere. Alright, so let's see. The extreme cousin of Zebra's popular steel line, X701, is a as tough as they come. Non-reflective, stainless steel barrel, harsh weather conditions. Alright, let's see. Five times more durable than everyday plastic pen. I don't really know how they measure durability like that. Refillable with a K refill, available at Zebra Pen. And it says pressurized barrel, okay. Due to the pressurized barrel mechanism, which allows writing upside down and in extreme angles, some ink blobbing may occur when the pen is left retracted for an extended period of time. Alright. So, interesting. Let's check this thing out. So, based upon that description, I'm thinking that these refills probably are zebra pen specific. So, I dug out one of the Fisher space pen universal refills in hopes that it might be the same size and it looks close we'll check that out in a minute anyway and see it concerns me with the whole it pressurizing the tip thing or pressurizing the ink when you open it so it might not work quite so well let's check this thing out and see all right so we got a pen and we got some refills and some garbage. All right. This does not feel steel. It feels kind of light. All right. That's strange. Oh, I grabbed a. I grabbed an FXMD, a Zebra FXMD. This is the all-metal version of the Zebra X7, uh, wait, is it, it's not X701, it's F701, I think, I think it's F701, the one that always gets modded to be an all-metal version, but they, they made the X, they made the FXMD, and it's all-metal, kind of by default, so we'll compare. I can tell you right now, just out of the box, this one feels much more substantial. This one doesn't. It feels just light. All right. So let's see. So I guess that's how you refill it. Yeah, well, I'm doing this. Let me check real quick. And let's see. It'll take one of the Fisher Space Pen refills. Like I said, this is the their ultimate refill thing. And no, it doesn't seem to want to go in there. No, oh, well, I've had terrible luck getting other refills to fit zebra pens for some reason. It always seems like the zebra pens are just a teeny bit. The zebra refills or the pens for the re the, the refills for the pen are always just a teeny bit off in some way, and it makes the other refills not work, which doesn't make me happy. With <laughs> all right, so let's try this out. This is the Zebra X701. And this one is the 0 0.7 millimeter version. It writes okay. Not amazing. But not awful. Kind of middle. Kind of middling. I'm trying to figure out the, the barrel doesn't. I don't know, it just, it doesn't feel like it's steel. It doesn't, it, it's super light. 
like this, this part, I'm almost certain, is plastic. This part, mm, I think, is probably metal, but it's like light metal. And this part is plastic again. And I screw this. No. I don't know. It just seems like this is intended to be a super hardy, like, tough pin. And it just doesn't strike me as being that hardy. I mean, it's okay, I guess. But I kind of would just rather have... I kind of would rather go with this one. It just feels better. I mean, it feels like a much more substantial pin than this one. And this one kind of just feels light. I don't know. I am not a fan of this out of the box, though. That's for sure. It's got a little lanyard hole for you to connect something to it. But I, I kind of feel if you want a zebra pen and you're looking for, you know, your everyday carry metal pen, I think the XMD is probably the way you want to go. Because, I mean, this is a tough little pen. And it looks good. It, you know, it's all metal. I mean, the only issue is you have to kind of fiddle with it a little bit to get it to take a Fisher space pen refill. There's like a little plastic thing in the head that messes can mess things up sometimes. But anyway, yeah, this is... I was kind of excited about this, but I'm not super impressed with it right now. It just feels cheap. It feels especially cheap compared to this one. So, hmm. Anyway, I'll tell you what. If y'all have tried this one, let me know what you think in the comments. If it's good, bad, terrible, whatever. Wait, good, bad, terrible? That's like two negatives and a positive choice. Okay, good, terrible, or mediocre? I don't know. Let me know what you think about the pin in the comments. And if there's anything you think I should check out, or if there's anything I should have tried with this pin that I didn't, let me know. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I hope y'all have an excellent day. Oh, I'll include links for this stuff in the description, too, just in case you want to check any of it out. Anyway, hope y'all have an excellent day.